Guild raids are finally coming to Aethergazer. Right now, all we know guilds to be are just simply a weekly mission that we complete every single week and then we just kind of hop off and we completely ignore the fact that guilds even exist. But that ends starting August 21st after the maintenance because we're going to be getting a brand new game mode called Alliance Front, which will allow us to cooperate with our guildmates to complete a series of missions, gain buffs, so that we can take out a boss at the end of the week. So I'm gonna run you through this so that you can understand how this works. And first off, I wanna thank Queen and Gilgamesh for giving me a brief description of how this works so I can run through all of this information with all of you so that you'll understand how this works yourself for when you hop in after the patch update. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it popping. All right, so we've moved over to the Chinese version of Aethergazer so I could show you what the current version of the guild mode looks like so this is what guilds looks like it looks fairly familiar to everybody but there's one icon that you guys aren't familiar with and that's the one that's right above my head that blue icon is for the alliance front game mode and once you click it you'll see the new guild raid game mode all right so surrounding this caution sign in the middle of the screen you'll see a bunch of nodes surrounding it now each one of these nodes hold a purpose basically what you'll want to do is collaborate with your entire guild to focus on one node at a time so that you can fill it up to 100% as quickly as possible. The reason for that is because each one of these nodes hold a buff that is effective for the entire guild. This specific one increases the fire damage by 25% against enemies in this event. Um, the one under that makes Idr Yggdrasil uh, modifiers increase their damage by 25%. Each one of these have a buff just like the two that you just saw. So you're gonna wanna focus on one at a time, fill it up to 100% so you can obtain that buff and move on to the next one. Now, you only have three attempts per day. Now that's three attempts per guildmate. So it's not just three attempts for the entire guild, it's three per guildmate. So that you can do three times, your guildmate can do three times, everyone has three attempts. So that is why you wanna focus on one at a time so that you can complete them as quickly as possible. It does rely on strength, but the benefit to this entire thing is that you can assign a support unit that your guildmates can use just in case they don't have any units that are strong enough. So you can assign that. And the way that looks to the, um, to the person trying to select a support unit is right here at the top, you'll see each one of these are support units that the guildmates have assigned for me or any other guildmate to use. So this is one of these opportunities for you to use operatives that you don't have operatives, for you to use modifiers that you don't have in your um, arsenal. This is also an opportunity for you to use operatives that are much stronger than the ones that you have just in case you have not built specific units that might benefit this entire event. Now, this is during the week. At the end of the week, you'll be focused on the boss in the center at that caution mark. Now, on the right side, you'll see all the abilities that the enemy has. On the bottom, you'll see its health bar. And on the left side, you'll see a leaderboard. Basically, the entire purpose is to get a high score as quickly as possible because you only have that weekend to defeat the boss. Now... The quicker you defeat the boss, the higher the score that you get. You can do this as many times as you want during the weekend, but it only records the highest score that you have. At the top, you'll see all of the debuffs that you have applied to this uh, boss. So, this entire event is all about coordinating with your teammates so that you can obtain all of these buffs, focus on this enemy, get the highest score as possible so that you can rank as high as possible in the leaderboard. This is a guild versus guild type of mode. You do get rewards for this. Um, pretty much you just get currency so that you can buy stuff in the shop. But that's pretty much the gist of this entire game mode. Remember, you only have three attempts per day during the week. And when you're actually fighting the boss, you can do this as many times as you want. I'm sorry about the, the noise that you hear. This is actually from the screen here. They updated it in the CN version and it's actually pretty loud. There's nothing I can really do about it, but that's pretty much the gist of this entire mode. 
Um, let me know what you think of the new guild mode. Damn. Let me know what you think of the new guild mode in the comment section below. If this is something that you've been looking forward to. And if you want to join my guild so that you can help us out, you know. We do have a, have a guild that's growing. It isn't fully packed yet. Right now, as of this video, it's only at 25 because we're booting people who aren't participating. I got to participate more myself because I have not been doing so. But I really, really would love for everyone to join my guild so that we can defeat this. Um, and I can show off everyone's scores live on stream when I do play this game on stream. It's going to be a good time. They've introduced this game mode much earlier than they did for CN. Not only did they introduce this mode much earlier, but we got the enhanced version of this mode much earlier. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Like, comment, subscribe if this video helped any of you guys. Um, yeah, can't wait to play this new game mode with all of you. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay chaotic. Love you guys. Peace out.